coming to this afternoon's session of the Rouge Forum at AERA. Um, I'll repeat a few things that I said before. I'll to emphasize again that we're conducting this conference in Vancouver on unceded land of the First Nations, um, various First Nations groups in BC. The Rouge Forum um, is been around since 1998 and um, doing our thing. We're happy to have you participate with us today. And we'll see a flyer around in the chairs here for the Rouge Forum meeting at Miami University in Ontario, Ohio. It's going to be June 21 to 24, and I encourage you to um, check out the website and consider submitting a paper. Um, this afternoon, as we continue on our theme, uh, which we stole partly from AERA, to know is not enough. And we added the Activist Scholarship, Social Change, and Corporate University as the uh, subtitle. We're going to be looking and uh, talking about the question of how can academic work uh, support local and global resistance to global capitalism. And we have, uh, again, a very distinguished panel. Uh, Peter McLaren, at the, currently at the University of Auckland. Um, I'm sure you all know Peter and his work. He's got 40-something uh, books and hundreds of articles. I think is um, accurately described as one of the leading architects of critical pedagogy, Marxist humanist scholar. <coughs> Tom Fishman from uh, Arizona State University uh, does work in curriculum and policy studies, comparative ed, cultural studies. Um, he's also one of the, the editor of EPAA, which I think is one of the uh, most interesting uh, education journals going uh, online using open journal system. Jill Pinkney Pastrana from the University of Wisconsin, uh, Eau Claire, who does international comparative education and has done research on the effects of uh, neoliberalism on uh, public schools, schooling and education in Chile, also working in Cuba. And, um, because we were so overwhelmed by the um, mottos that he gave us and the slogans that he offered to us in the first session, we we called back insult <coughs> for, for an encore, and uh, he's going to he's going to be talking a few words. And like we did uh, in the first session, we we're going to have the first part of our um, first part of this session be the, the talking heads, but we really want to <clears throat> look forward to the dialogue with the panel and among the audience in the, in the second half of the session, which will go till 3.30 or so. After that, we're going to have a uh, afternoon, this is Canada, so we're going to have a tea break, and uh, in 3.30, 3.45, then we'll have a special session of about 30 minutes. Um, David Chetnovsky, who's former president of BCTF, former uh, MLA in BC, uh, is going to be talking about the Great Schools Project. Um, uh, he's also the Charter for Public Education, which is used here in BC. And then the final session of the day will begin at 4.15, and um, we'll focus on issues of academic freedom. And Steve Petrino, Elizabeth Highland, Nancy McCrary, Brad Portfolio. So I hope you can stay with us to the end. And then the big event, the really big event of Vancouver starts at 7 o'clock tonight. <clears throat> that's the LA Kings in the Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know that. <laughs> Just so you know that. Uh, Will there be any writing? Will there be any writing later? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Around the hockey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We can guarantee, at least somewhere, at least one small riot will break out, especially if they lose. Rioting. Um, I thought you said writing. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Also, that Australian accent. It's it's thick. <laughs> so thanks again, uh, once again, for coming. And we'll get right to it. I'm going to ask uh, Peter I don't know if you want to come up here or if you want to sit there. It's the way it's fine with me, but our camera guy might want to.